does it mean to be afraid, to be filled with fear, to be filled with apprehension? What does it mean to be afraid? We live in a world of cool. We want the best things, the newest toys, whatever is hot. So we trade our time, we trade our experiences, we trade our individual talents to acquire what is cool, but instead, we have lost what has brought us joy. We have lost our uniqueness. We have lost that spirit that lives inside of us, that thing that makes us different. So why do we conform? We dream big dreams, yet we do not step beyond our front door. Why? Because it's hard. The road of God is hard. You will be uncomfortable, but you will have the opportunity for joy. You will be uneasy, but you will be reliant on him. You will feel pain, but you will delight in his pleasure. You will be pushed to your utmost, but you can soar to your highest. So as you go to your job, your school, your neighborhood, why do you hide that which is important to you? Are you worried about the world and how they will see you as a dope, as a nut job, as an unscientific fool, as a hypocrite? Do you even care enough about those in your life? Do you care enough about the guy in the cubicle next to you? Do you care enough about the person next door? Do you care enough about the single mom that needs your help? Do you care enough? Do you care enough? Jesus does. Jesus does. A generous heart is never foolish. Jesus came into this world and he healed the sick. Jesus came into this world and he gave people food to eat. Jesus came into this world and gave people life. Jesus came into this world and gave each of us hope. And what did we do? In this world, Jesus was mocked. In this world, Jesus was rejected. In this world, Jesus was derided. If we are to emulate Jesus, then we will give and give and give and receive nothing in return but hatred and scorn. Jesus came and lifted all of our pain, all of our sin on his back, and he faced death so that we would never have to. He faced death so that we would never die. In this world, we will have sorrow, we will have pain, but in Jesus, we are eternally indestructible. Eternally, we will have joy in peace, in love, not in hope of a better tomorrow, but beyond hope in the presence of God Almighty. Can you dream of possibilities? Can you dream of opportunities? Can you cast a vision for a better world, city, neighborhood, church? Even you, can you trust the Almighty God.